he begins to unveil and show you things about yourself so that's what god has done to me and has done in me he showed me things about myself but i'm telling you that the lord told me this year that this would be the year of the giant that giants were going to be born and giants are going to die we just lost another giant bishop rans allen another giant bishop michael ford sean connery giants of everything i mean so many giants men of god bishop j delano ellis a giant of giants a man of god out of here people are leaving bishop p.a brooks bishop with all of these giants of giants giants of the faith that god has transitioned all right and the lord did not tell me that there are midgets in the pulpit that's not what he said to me he said to me that giants are being born that was the word of the lord that i received that giants are transitioning and giants are being born but you will know the giants that are being born by their discipline that was the word of the Lord that came to me. The Lord also shared with me that coming into November, December, and January, everything is about to shift. Life as you know it in America is about to shift. But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this with clarity. I'm going to say this with precision. I say this with all the conviction of God that's in me. This was not on my mind. I am having a meeting. That's what I'm planning on. I'm on a fast this week consecrating myself i don't say that to glory in the fast but i've been on a fast consecrating myself get my spirit ready because we need to hear god and the lord is showing me that this is an hour that we need to let our calling and election be sure we need to be laying before god on our face seeking him as never before holding on to the horns of the altar asking god to have mercy on this nation but i want to say this to you and i mean this with every fiber of my being i have no dog in the fight i'm not after nothing i'm not trying to be seen or recognized but i do believe that god has called me as a prophet to the nation not just to the city of charlotte jacksonville and houston but a prophet to the nation and i do know that the god that i serve is a god of justice he's a god that's not republican and he's not democrat he's not a god hallelujah who looks over racism because of abortion he's not a god who overlooks homosexuality amen because of other things god is a god of justice most of the prophets all over the country the great prophets who i honor and respect who i give credence to men of god prophets of god men of god most of them are prophesying that president trump will be reelected as president i'm going to say this to i prophesied and said that trump will triumph that was the word that i heard that trump will triumph i also heard the lord say to me that if he triumphed and if he did not humble himself he would not finish his term i don't know what that means either that's the, but those are the things that i prophesied but sunday i'm sorry saturday night i had a dream i want to say this i've always said to everyone who knows me that dreams for me are 50 50. if i ever come and tell you i've had a vision you can put your life on it. But I had a dream in the night. Maybe as a night vision. I don't know. But I had a dream. And in this dream, let me make it very clear. I have prophesied for the last couple of months that Trump will triumph. That Trump will be reelected as president. I have prophesied that. But Sunday, Saturday night, I had a dream. And in the dream, I'm sitting in my living room. And I'm watching the news. 
And while I'm watching the news, I want to say it's Wolf Blitzer. I think it was CNN. But I want to say whoever it was, they announced in the dream. I don't know if you've ever watched the elections as they go, but you have what you call the projections where they say we have projected so and so have won this state so and so have won this country so you understand the cnn projection that i saw in my dream was joe biden as the president of the united states in the dream i saw i'm I'm telling you what I saw in the dream. He was projected as the president. And we was waiting on three other news stations to let us know what their projection was. And then I came out of the dream shocked, bamboozled, amazed. What do I believe God is saying? I'm going to tell you what I believe God is saying. This election has not been determined in the spirit. It is hanging in the balance. This election is hanging in the balance in the spirit realm. Does God choose presidents? My response, God uses presidents. How do you get presidents? People go and vote. That's how presidents come. We are in a democracy. We're not in a theocracy where they are chosen through bloodline and chosen by the prophets who went and declared who would be the next king. That's not where we are. We are in a democracy where people vote and determine presidents. I am in prayer because I want the will of God to be done. I was speaking to another woman of God, very accurate woman of God, older woman of God, who I believe hears from the Lord. God speaks to her. She had a dream. And in her dream, God showed her in a White House. When she got inside of the White House, people were meeting. They were having a conversation. And they kept referring to President, now President Trump, as former President Trump. Again, it was a dream. I'm telling you the dream I had. I've also saw that Biden did a dream years ago from a prophet who saw Biden as president years ago. But there was a war that America experienced that they've never experienced before. Here's what Prophet Karn is saying to you today. I prophetically prophesied that Trump will be reelected. But as a prophet, since Sunday, there is an uneasiness I'm feeling in my spirit that something is shifting and changing in the balance. And the church must do what he's commanded us to do, that God would raise up who he wants and put in office who he wants to be in office. November, December, January is going to be some dark days in our country. There's some kind of pause. There's some kind of hinder. Pay attention to the state of Texas and pay attention to the state of Florida. But there's some kind of pause. No matter who's the president, there will be riots. So to me, that's not perfect. No matter who becomes president, there will be riots. 
but I'm telling you what I believe the spirit of God has given me and exactly what I believe I heard him say to me. I'm also going to share some more that I believe God gave me. All right. Uh, here's what God showed me. And, and then I get out of your way. Let's pray. I saw a Spanish speaking nation getting ready to have a historical earthquake. This is a Spanish speaking nation. So let's pray for that. I also saw in the spirit ram. OK, that whoever becomes president, that the vice president will be the most important figure of the next presidency. Whoever becomes president, the vice president will be the most important person of it. Also, I'm telling you, schools are getting ready to be online. I know they're making you feel like things are going to go back to usual, but they're not. The schools are getting ready to be online on a larger, larger scale. I saw more farmers being born in this season like never before. Okay. Uh, uh, I was talking to the, uh, another man of God, a master prophet. This is not worth for me, but he said that the voices of the civil rights movement are slowly dying and the next voices that you will see coming on the scene now will be rappers and they will be the voice of social justice all right i also want to say to you that there is an explosion coming i don't know if it's a bomb i don't know if it's a plank but there's an explosion coming to this nation I'm talking about boom, all right? It's getting ready to hit right here in America, not no other country, right here in America. There's an explosion coming. And a sign behind you, what I tell you is, thus says the Lord, there is a famous rapper from the 1980s and 90s that's going to pass very soon. I'm talking about they have less than a year. They'll be out of here. Right. This is a big person now. All right. This is a big person. This is a big time person in hip hop. But this will be a sign. There's a major explosion getting ready to hit. Let's pray for our.